Sometimes I have to keep on breathing. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you how I do my makeup when I have a lot of errands to do while we're in this quarantine and pandemic. Um, so this makeup is just for when you're running around doing errands and when you have to wear a mask at all times. So if you guys want to know how I run out and do a quick makeup look, please keep watching. Okay, so you want to make sure when you are going out for errands in the summertime, in the springtime, whenever you know that it's really, really hot outside and um, you know you're gonna be, your face is going to be sweating, make sure that you always wash your face. Now, um, in the summertime, I don't have dry skin, but I want to feel very refreshed when I put the mask on and I go out for errands. So the first thing that I do is when I wash my face, I use, this is called Pearlescence. Ooh, for you. I bought this about a year ago at um, TJ Maxx and it's a hydrating face mist so I don't have to really put on heavy moisturizers. All I do is I just spritz this, I want to say maybe about three or four times. It has a very cooling effect and also it's going to give you um, just a bit of uh, a, you know, a nice moisturizer on your face. Okay, so once we finish just spraying our face. Um, when you're wearing a mask, you want to focus from here on up. Okay, so what I'm going to do today is I'm not going to put on any foundation at all. I'm going to just put on just a little bit of powder in case I do sweat underneath the mask. Okay, so first off, we're going to use um, a light concealer, but I'm going to use, um, this is the Makeup Forever so this is an anti-lift concealer. Um, I didn't start using this at first when I put the mask on, but then I saw that um, the color of my mask, which is dark blue and gold, uh, when I had dark circles underneath my eyes, it actually really showed them um, in my mask. So I'm going to just put just a little dab on my finger. Okay, I'm going to just put this underneath my eyes first. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to just blend this um, with my finger. Now ever since we've been in this pandemic, I have gotten more sleep. So I don't quite have like the puffiness um, and dark circles underneath my eyes, but they're still there. Okay, so now I'm going to be using a lightweight uh, concealer underneath my eyes, and this is the Maybelline Concealer. This is the Fit Me Concealer, and I'm using um, number 15 in light. So again, just a very small dab of concealer. And again, I'm going to use my finger to blend this out. Now, once you finish uh, putting the concealer underneath your eyes, what I found with my mask, and I've been using it for a long time, like there's times where I won't take my mask off for three hours. I get a little mark right over here by my nose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put some concealer that's left over on my fingers. And I'm going to put the, again, I'm going to smooth this out. it right here like right on the bridge of your nose actually and then just put one more dab right on the bridge and again what's ever left on your hands your fingers I'm gonna just dab this right on my eyelids because again, in the summertime, you sweat. <laughs> so here is the look with the concealer and the Makeup Forever concealer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using 
This is called, this is the Airbrush Flawless Finish from Charlotte Tilbury. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put this all over my face. I want to make sure that we put this powder underneath our eyes. Because again, definitely going to sweat. And again, it's not going to be a lot of this powder. Now, how many of you guys take off your mask in the car? I used to be, uh, you know, I, I used to keep my mask on all the time in the car when I was driving. Um, this was when our numbers in the Metropolitan, uh, when they were very, very, very big, like up in the 4,000s each day. So I was really, really scared. And then as soon as the numbers started going down, um, as soon as I got into the car, um, I would take the mask off. But again, as soon as I get out of the car, that mask stays on. Okay, so we're going to glide it underneath our eyes. And make sure that the bridge of the nose gets a lot of powder on it. Alright, next I'm going to put some eyeshadow on my eyes. Because remember I told you what people see the most when you're wearing your mask is your eyebrows and your eyes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, this is the Urban Decay, this is the Vice palette. This is like an old palette, but I still love the colors. Um, we're going to take the color, this is called Downfall, right here. Okay, so we're going to take the color Downfall. Usually put more right by the bridge of my nose. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Kylie Jenner palette and we're going to use um, a Morphe brush and we're going to put um, eyeshadow eyeliner and we're going to be dipping it in obsidian okay and, and use a very light hand okay so if you I don't know if you could see the difference but I definitely can okay so just pack that eyeshadow as close to your eyelashes as possible. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just push, I'm going to stretch out the eye to make it go up. And again with the eyelash, with the, Okay, what I really like about this brush is that the leftover product on the brush, what I do is again, I stretch this over here and then down here, I start right over here and then I move up to just make it look like a little fan. See? Okay, and again, this is leftover product. And there you go. 
So my favorite mascara at this time is the Voluminous by L'Oreal. I love this mascara. I've used this for so many years. Still one of the best products out there. Okay. All right. Now, um, I'm going to do um, the bottom of my eyes just in a minute. Um, I'm going to actually go to my eyebrows now. All right. So we're going to take the Anastasia. This is the Brow Wiz. My shade that I use for my eyebrows is in medium brown. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to just brush up our eyebrows. Um, what I love is to have like a bold eyebrow when wearing a mask because they really stand out. So I'm going to just fill my eyebrows in with the pen. Again, I always go like this and I slant the skin back over here. And I just fill in whatever needs to be filled in here. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we are definitely going to set the eyebrows um, with the clear brow gel. So again, we're going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the clear brow gel. So I use this product again because um, when you have the mask on and you know you have a full day of doing errands and just keeping that mask on, um, you tend to sweat. And I find that if I really want my eyebrows to look nice and I have the hairs pushed up and if you slightly go like this all the time, um, they're going to go out of place. So this brow gel really does a great job with keeping these brows in place. And I find that I've had this for like six months and I've been using it almost every single day. So what I do, my trick is I brush my eyebrows up here and then when I go to where it starts curving, I brush it out and then down. And I just brush these hairs that like stand out, brush them down this way. Okay, let's do that over here. So again, brush this out this way and then down and there you go is I'm going to take um, my brush, my eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to go back in with uh, Downfall. And I'm going to just put this right underneath my eye. Okay, and then we're going to go back in um, with the Morphe brush that we used with... Um, the eyeliner and I'm going to just put this right underneath my waterline. Okay, um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using um, I'm going to use the Urban Decay. This is the 24-7 Glide On Pencil. What I really like about this eyeliner is that it's waterproof and it says on there it's long lasting and it's true. So I'm going to put this um, in my waterline. This literally stays on all day. Okay, last but not least, uh, we are going to use the Clinique. This is um, the 
is the small mascara for your lower lashes. So look how cute the little brush is. So we're going to just go really lightly and try to get those little bottom lashes to at least come out. Actually, you know what, I think I'm going to do a second coat. All right, now we've finished our eyebrows and we've finished our eyes. So usually I don't wear lipstick or lip liner when I have my mask on. Um, I tried using lipstick and lip gloss and I had like a heavy lip gloss on and then when I took my mask off I had like all the fuzzies and the lip gloss went everywhere and um, it was, I had a very sticky mask. So I find that the Nude Bombs by um, L'Oreal, this is in the color Rose Elixir. So this Rose Bomb, so the L'Oreal Bomb, it does not leave like a sticky gloss. It goes on so smooth and it just gives you like a subtle color. What I really like about this lip balm is that it leaves your lips so hydrated the entire day. Okay, and guys, that's basically it. Um, I usually use the Iconic London. This is my setting spray um, before I put my makeup on and afterwards, but um, I like how my mask smells after I use the Jeffree Star setting spray. So this is just a set and refresh mist, and I always use this when I use my mask. So here we go. So we're gonna just spray our face. love it and again this spray it really keeps your makeup on and I just love the smell so okay so we're going to put our hair down this is how it looks with the mask on I don't know if you guys could hear me, but this is how I go out and I do my errands during the summer and spring days when it's hot. Um, and really, when you wear your mask, people just see your forehead, your eyebrows, and your eyes. So, guys, wait, let me take this mask off. <laughs> I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this. Please let me know if you would like me to do a tutorial on a full face makeup for your mask. I hope everyone is doing okay. Please be safe. Wear that mask. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you guys real soon. Everyone please stay safe. Bye.